Let's imagine you're a sailor in the 18th century. It's a deep night. There is no GPS, radars and radio. Just you, the endless ocean and your boat. How will you find a road? Well, for navigation overall, you probably will use night sky and compass. But once you're near a coastline, how will you notice it? Again, it's a deep night. Let's say it's stormy. So seeing the ground without additional instruments is not possible. Then I'll repeat my question. How will you navigate? This exact issue concerned sailors in the 18th century. And they surely needed to do something with that. They were lucky because in 1823 everything changed. The new invention was designed that saved millions of ships and transformed the world forever. To be fair, in the 18th century, that houses already existed for thousands of years. In fact, they existed so long that they were invented even before the birth of Christ, 280 years prior. But that's not the case, because for this whole time, that houses were not exactly as we know them now. Besides the similar shape and principle, they were pretty different. What's the purpose of a lighthouse? It's a tower with a bright light on the top of it. This tower is located on coastlines and dangerous areas, so sailors can see them from a far distance. But that's where the problem hides. They failed at the most important part, the bright light. Let's think about 280 BC. It was a pretty ancient civilization. They didn't have these modern technologies and life back then was much different. Of course, they didn't have fancy bright LEDs and other electric lamps. In fact, even candles weren't invented at that time. They were invented 80 years after the first lighthouse. That's how old they are, so they were left with not so many choices. The best they could do is burn in the coal. As you might imagine, it's not the brightest source of light. Needless to say, the visibility distance was extremely low. Over time, from 280 BC to the 18th century, things obviously improved. People started to use gas-powered lamps, kerosene lamps and oil-powered lamps. Therefore, they certainly become brighter, but it was still not enough. The source of light was still pretty dark, so they needed to do something else. They needed to think in a different direction. That's why a Fresnel lens was invented. A lens that changed the lighthouses completely. The Fresnel lens was named after its creator, Augustine Jean Fresnel. But also it's known as the invention that saved millions of ships. And it truly is. What was magical about this lens? The fact that it slightly increased the distance from where the light was seen. The purpose of this lens was to focus the light. It was designed pretty basic by today's standards. However, back then it was revolutionary. Imagine taking a magnifying glass and slicing it into hundreds of concentric rings, like the rings of a tree. Each ring is slightly thinner than the next and focuses the light toward the center. By putting all these pieces together, you get the Fresnel lens. Inside the lens was a source of light that was concentrated by this lens. And because of that, the light was seen from 20 miles away, right to the horizon. That was a huge leap. Why is it so important? Since the 15th century, the shipping industry started booming. It was the only way to discover new territories, go transatlantic and deliver goods to islands. But apart from the importance of this transport, that wasn't safe at all. Back then they still used wood to produce ships, not steel or aluminum like today. So it was easier to crush the boat, and without good houses, it was even worse. This is why creating a Fresnel lens was so important. It helped to save millions of vessels in the era of a commerce boom, driven by ships. More of that, even in the GPS era and other high-tech devices, 
that houses are still used. In fact, approximately 60% of all lead houses in America are still working and helping sailors to navigate better and safer. That's how important this creation is. The coolest thing is that the lighthouse, where the Fresno lens was installed first, is still here. Cordon Tower Lighthouse is one of the French tourist destinations, which visits thousands of people. What's more is that it's the oldest lighthouse in France, so it's twice iconic. But sadly, the first ever lighthouse, the Ferris of Alexandria, didn't age well. During the three earthquakes, between 956 and 1323, it was severely crashed, and in 1480, it was fully destroyed. It was over 100 meters long, and for many centuries, it was one of the tallest man-made structures in the world. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, you can press the like button and subscribe to my channel. It helps the algorithm to show the video to more people. See you soon. Have a great day.